Is that straight? I don't think that is straight, Chloe. Um, that's not straight. This is. This. Is that straight? Oh my god, this is gonna be so annoying. You can lube on me. I still care when you leave. Way boy boy. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. I think I have it. I think that's straight. Let's hope it is anyway. Hello everyone, it is Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. My bodysuit is not cooperating. I don't like it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another episode video. You guys already know by the title and the thumbnail. You guys already know that clearly. Today is going to be episode 13 and 14, I believe. I'm not a massive fan of how this story is going, let's be honest. You know, we've got to push through all the struggles we've had with this story and just do it, you know. I just want to say this tutorial on my face, I haven't filmed it. I filmed it for Instagram. It's probably up already. Probably not. Maybe not. I don't really know. If you want to know how I did this, go check out my Instagram. I'll put it on the screen right now. It's all down below anyway. Speaking in the description box, if you haven't seen part 1 to 12, that's a lot. <laughs> I will leave them all down below for you guys. If you haven't watched all the other parts, so 1 to 12, I'll leave them down below for you guys. If you haven't watched them, please watch them before this one because you'll spoil this one for yourself. So go watch them before you watch this one. But if you are up to date with this, I was a TV show. It's not a TV show. What? If you are up to date with this series on this channel that we're doing together and you want to know what happens, just keep on watching everybody. Let's have it better than last week. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's watch some ads. Great. Hello. I think it froze. Oh. Oh, okay. We're starting. That, I thought there was going to be another ad, but there wasn't. It's Amy's birthday. To keep the peace with... Oh, God. Okay. I remember this shit. <laughs> Keep the peace with Elise, I have to dump Tyler. Now, before I click next, I read most of your comments on my video last week. Like I said in the video, they're really shit friends, just saying. And everyone says that I should not dump Tyler for Elise because she's being an absolute bitch. <laughs> And I shouldn't dump him. So I think I probably won't dump him. Even though I don't want to be with him. I just feel like Elise is just being an absolute douchebag. So yeah, I think I'm probably not going to dump him. But we'll see what happens. Because the storyline will probably make me go with him anyway. So even though we're only pretending to date, this is still a nightmare. Love that. And to make matters worse, someone stole my clothes and made me look like a loser. I want to know who stole my clothes, first of all. Like, before I even think about dumping anyone, I want to know who stole my clothes. Like, it's a bit low to steal someone's clothes. <laughs> Here I am, outside with my fake boyfriend. Ugh. Things are a little crazy right now, huh? Kinda, sorta, yeah. I'm sorry somebody was such an ass to you. To be honest, I don't want to go to school today. I don't think I can face it. Thanks for taking me to school. Wait. What? Didn't you just say you weren't going to school? Oh wait, what? <laughs> I'm a little confused right now. Just a little. Is there enough highlighter on my nose? I feel like there isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is literally what I do all day is just fix my highlighter because it's not enough. Can you even see? I do have highlighter on my nose, I promise. But like you can't really see it. Actually, I was thinking of not going today. I'm gonna, are we gonna like not go to school together and like do something? Oh, fun. You wanna skip? Don't you? I couldn't take all the attention you're getting. Let's take a day, go hang out, just us. Are you serious? Oh, for shit sake. The one thing I actually wanna do, I can't afford it. <laughs> okay, Tyler, let's sip today. 25 gems. No, I should really go to school. I have 10 gems and I don't have money to buy gems because I spent it all on Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So we're going to go to school. This is the one thing I actually really do want to do, but I'm not paying for gems because your girl's broke. So we're going to go to school, get an education. Even though I don't want to, I can't get in any more trouble. Suit yourself. I'll drop you off at school. Oh, what a sweetheart. What a great fake boyfriend. Are you going to take off now? I'm already here, so I guess I'll put off cutting until you can come with. I guess that's a nice thing. I don't really know. Oh, shit. The bag lady. I'm crying. What does that even mean? Sorry, I read ahead. I always do that. I always read ahead and like I shouldn't be doing that. Look who's here, Brody. The bag lady from yesterday. The bag lady? Why am I the bag lady? I'm confused. <laughs> um, okay. So clever. This is written so badly I don't actually understand it from their point of view. So I'm just gonna like skip that part over in my brain and just pretend that I know what they're talking about. Okay. I'm just saying you should pay more attention to your things. Okay, well, she's referring to my clothes. I have a feeling that she stole them, but I have a feeling she didn't steal them. You, you know what I mean? So this just proved to me that I'm not going to dump Tyler of her because she's an absolute twat bag. So I'm going to ignore her because she's not my friend. And I just want to say something. Real life situation here. If you have friends like this, 
in real life that make you question everything you do, please don't be friends with them anymore. I know it might seem like very small things, like a bigger picture. They're not going to mean anything to you in the next few years if they keep treating you the way they're treating you. So if you have a real life Elise out there, dump her ass. <laughs> Now I'm not focusing. Hello. Focus on me. There we go. <laughs> you probably got drunk and lost them or something. My clothes? Are we still talking about my clothes or something else? I'm really, really confused now. Classy Elise. What? She probably did, right, bro? Oh my god. She's a psycho bitch, okay? I'm just saying it. She's a psycho and I'm not friends with her anymore. Thank you very much. Actually, I think it was a pretty weak prank. But someone took her clothes. It's hilarious. It's really not. Sure, Al. Hilarious. I love this shit. Whatever. Ty, you want to smoke up before class? Sure. Bye, boys. Don't leave me with this psycho. <sighs> I see you're still with Tyler. Looks like you're going to ruin Amy's birthday. Why can't you just break up with Brody? Okay, we're still talking about this. How about we all just like stay with our own partners and just break up with each other? Like the friendship can be broken up. How about that? Because I'm not the one being a jerk. Rewind back to the thing that you just found funny of someone stealing my clothes and tell me that you're not being a jerk. All right, sis. <laughs> Brody and Tyler are hanging out. Why can't you just put your crazy aside for one night and think about Amy? What do you bet at the end of the day? We're still going to go to Amy's birthday and like go to the movies or whatever she wanted to do. And like this whole thing was just pointless. <laughs> <laughs> I just re Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. My crazy, I am two seconds away from freaking out on you. <laughs> what is she going to do? That's so funny. Try it. <laughs> Try it, bitch. Oh, my God. Are we actually fighting? Look at us pouncing. Wow, I love that. Stop it. You two are being so selfish. It's my birthday. I just wanted to be together and you can't even do that. Well, it's her fault, bitch. I can. No, you can't because you're forcing me to do something I don't want to do. And that's not true friendship. Thank you very much. Stop it. If some stupid boys are going to tear us apart, why should we even bother being friends? This is stupid. Bloody Amy for president. Woo. <laughs> Amy, you're right. I'm sorry. Why are we apologizing? She started it. I'm going to go to the movie. I'll do it just for you. Are you going to come? The options here are, I refuse to go if Elise is going, or okay, I'll do it for you. Now, I'm not going to be a rude bitch because I'm better than that. And um, we're not Elise. So I'm going to say, I'll do it for like Amy. I'll do it for Amy. But if there's a point in this story later on, I don't know, like maybe three chapters in or seven chapters in or whatever, where I decide not to be her friend anymore. I'm not being her friend anymore because she's a stupid little shit. And I don't like her. So this one will do okay. I'll do it for you because Amy's birthday and special, you know? Thank you. Let's try to get along. Just don't let her. That's enough. I'll see you after school. Oh my god, this is gonna be a shit show. I can tell you that right now. Bye! Do you think it's funny when someone took her clothes? You're an idiot. An absolute idiot. Amy really wanted to see a movie called Prince Alarming. It's some romantic fairy tale thing about a girl who gets cursed and needs a prince, which is cursed. Obviously, this chick that hasn't dealt with Brody Kaysen. Why are we mentioning him? Okay, we're at the film. Woo! How are you liking the movie? It's fine. Are we talking during the movie? Are we those type of people? Oh my god. Remember when I bought you the books because I'm such a good friend? Yes. And remember how... Oh my god, can she stop? Sorry, I just keep on remembering how close Amy and I are. I'm about to fight her. <laughs> you can stop whenever you want. Okay, episode. And the people who wrote this, you need to stop it <laughs> right now. This is going way too far. I'll stop it as soon as you break up with Tyler. So I'm not doing it. I'm really not doing it. Like, even though I don't want to end up with Tyler, Isaac's first, then it's Tyler, then it's everyone else I don't give two shits about. In the end of it, if I end up with Isaac or Tyler, I'll be fine. But if I end up with Brody or anything, I'm going to puke, but... It's fine. Why do you care with Brody? We're in a movie theater. I just want to clarify that. We're in the movie theater still. Like, we're in the cinema, which is not... Mm. Guys, why do you care? You're with my... My Tyler? Bitch, you're in a relationship with another dude, and you're calling another dude yours. You need to reevaluate everything. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> That's it. I'm done. You two ruined my birthday. <laughs> no, Amy, it's only because I don't care about Brody or Tyler or whatever. I'm going home. Go with Sebastian. He loves you. We love Sebastian. He's the only decent one out of this whole friggin' cast. Congrats on being the worst friends ever. Thanks. <laughs> Way to go, Trixie. You started it. Jesus Christ. Did she just say my Tyler? Yes, she did. Fight her. <laughs> I shouldn't have gone to the movie. Now I don't know if I have any friends other than Tyler anyway. You have your sister. Oh, look who's home. I'm home. What's got you so down? Why do you care? <laughs> Why does she... Mm. Okay. If it was me and some random little asshole said, what's wrong? I probably wouldn't tell him what's wrong because he's an idiot and dating my asshole of a best friend. So... 
Mm, pretty much every relationship in my life is chaos right now and you keep on doing your good cop bad cop thing which has making me go crazy what <laughs> tyler's not enough for you huh well i didn't say that <laughs> I didn't say that. What? No. I don't know. Why would you even ask me that? Sis. Oh, I'm just messing with you. Of course you are. Everything's a joke to you. You're always just messing with me. Maybe it's because I like you. You need to actually get wrecked. You're probably messing with me right now, but you need to actually get wrecked and like leave us alone because my forehead's really itchy. Um, he's just... I don't, ugh, whatever. Well, maybe it's because you mess with me. I don't think I forgot about you having my journal. Isn't that the whole point of this story is the journal? So why are we not like going into that part of the story yet? Like we mentioned it a little bit at the start, like the first four episodes or so. And then we like drifted off from it. Like, are we going to like bring it back or what are we going to do? <laughs> Good to admit blackmail hasn't been a top priority lately. Diary. Hmm. Give it back and maybe Elise is suddenly back on the market. Back on the market? You're threatening me that that's a pretty dumb move. Yes, bitch. Get it. Another dumb move was reminding me that I can dig up something juicy on you and split you and Elise up on, all on my own. See, I'm not... I don't like this plan. I'm not for this plan. You guys know this. I think I said it at the start. I'm not for this idea, like the whole blackmailing thing, but it's got to happen. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work like that. You don't? Not if you want people to know that you wet your pants during the sixth grade talent show. How does he know that? <laughs> I don't think that's a massive deal. Like, who gives a shit? I don't care. I don't know why she should. How does he know that? Yeah, same. Do you reckon my sister said something? <laughs> um, no, I didn't. And even if I did, who cares? It was so long ago. This is high school. People will take anything they can get to knock someone else down. <sighs> Just like I took your journal. Why does everyone in this town have a journal? What? Yep, yeah, rule number one. Don't pass out at a party and have the dude your black man take you home. You went through my shit. <laughs> you stole it while I was passed out. Couldn't find mine. Figured I'd take yours. Let me know what you want to... Oh my god. Why do I feel like half that journal is about him? I have a little, little thing going on in my head saying that half the journal is about Brody. And he's going to be like, oh my god, ooh, it's about me. And it's going to be all posh and I'm just... Ugh, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> but you're not going to tell anyone about sixth grade, not unless you force me to. I can't believe you would do something like this. Well, you started it. You did the blackmail first. And yet here we are. Have a good night, love cake. Okay, I swear to God, if he calls me love cake one more time, I'm going to start fighting someone. Oh, and Trixie, what? It seems like you've always thought Elise was prettier than you. Oh my God. It seems like you've always thought Elise was prettier than you or better than you. She's not. Why? That would be okay if it wasn't from him. Just saying. Brody has my journal. This could get very, very bad. End of episode. Fantastic. Well, guess what? You guys don't have to wait. Neither do I because it's about to start. Episode 14. Let's do it. First, Brody is my knight in shining armor, saving me from the cops at Lola's party. Then I learned he used the whole thing to steal my journal. <laughs> I was asleep. What a jerk. <laughs> There's not a ton of stuff in there, but enough that I need to get it back. The smart thing to do would be to make a clean trade. Or I could take a pre preach <laughs> or i could take a page out of brody's book and steal my journal back how's that gonna work if brody's got a special place where he hides things i bet he wrote about it in dumbass why would he write about okay i'm just not gonna question any of this anymore because it's gone crazy okay so this is his journal now okay we're back to it we haven't done this in a while so let's do it dear dumbass <laughs> the more i sit with it the more i think my dad only cares about money like more than he cares about me or mom that's why he divorced her because if things don't line up with his perfect life, he's got to get rid of them. Oh, all right then. I hate it at this place. No matter how big it is or how much money he has, it will never be a real home. I'm trying not to feel bad for this dipshit, but I'm a nice person, you know? <laughs> not to me anyway. Sounds like he likes his mum's place more, so I'll start there. You got to walk into his mum's house and just look for a book? Gotta be tough for him with a dad like that. Maybe that's why he's so tough all the time. I don't think it's the whole thing, but I'm pretty sure that's probably part of why he's a dipshit. Okay, mum left for work and I just saw Brody take off for school, so I think I'm in the clear. Are we gonna break into her house? Because she wouldn't be home, right? I don't, I don't know. Here goes nothing. It's just crazy. He's gonna come back in. Like, he's just, something's gonna happen. <laughs> I scoped out the house, trying doors and windows, looking for the perfect place to make my way in. Hey, they're not gonna leave a random door open for you, bitch. And no, I totally didn't go to the bathroom window and crash on the floor. Oh my god. I totally went to the bathroom window and crash on the floor. What an absolute 
little shit. <laughs> is anyone home? I'm really scared. Okay, there's a door out there on the right and a door on the left. Which one should I take? Left or right? We'll do right. Holy smokes. I'm in Brody's room. What? Don't do that. Can't believe I'm in Brody Kaysen's friggin' room. Get over it. You broke in. He's got action figures and stuff. Brody's so sexy, but he's like a regular dude. Like, still a kid, I guess. He is a human, even though he's a dick. He's still human. Jesus Christ. Empty beer cans, candy bar wrappers, guitar strings. My journal's not here. Well, nah, shit. Is that his mum's room? Why are we in her m Oh, why are we in her room? I don't like this. This is Brody's mum's room. I doubt he'd hide anything in here. What's that? Oh, God, I'm really scared. Newspaper clippings? I better get some photos. What the fudge is happening? What? Brody Kaysen, son of Jake and Maria Kaysen, still remains missing? Did he get kidnapped or something? What? Oh. The Kaysons continue to offer a substantial reward to anyone with information as to his whereabouts. Holy smokes, Brody went missing. When was this? What happened? I better keep looking. Okay, I'm really intrigued now. They have a nice home. <laughs> I don't think it's here. Oh, shit. I told you. I told you she would be in the house. Who the hell are you? Hi, Maria. Don't think I won't call the cops. I know Officer Mike. Oh, my gosh, Mrs. Case, I'm sorry to scare you, but I'm... Wait, you're the India girl from next door, aren't you? Yeah, that's me. I'm sorry. Uh, Brody forgot. Let me guess. Brody snuck you in last night and you overslept. Oh, gosh, no, I would never. My Brody is a busy young man. She seems really nice. Oh, my God, I love her already. I swear, Mrs. Kaysen, we didn't do anything like that. Brody and I have... Think of something, anything. Friends. We're lab partners. Are you for real? <laughs> We're lab partners and he forgot his bio book, so he wanted me to grab it, but I can't find it, and I'm sorry for breaking in. Okay. It's fine, honey. I believe you. You're Charlie's daughter, right? Yeah. Okay, I need to know everything about my dad. <laughs> I always like Charlie, never afraid to do what's right, even when it's hard. You look just like him. Oh my god, she's so cute. Thank you. Now, why don't we see if we can find that book and get you to school? That was close. Brody's mum and I searched the house, topped the bottom, and trying to find his bio book. Can't believe I never saw how nice she is before. If it's not here, it's probably at his father's house. Things have a way of getting lost in such a large place. No worries, thank you for helping me look anyway. It's my pleasure, but I have to ask is there something going on between you and Brody? No, well, I mean, no, there's not. <laughs> I've seen that look from a million girls. Oh. Brody is my son. I love him, but he's confused. It's complicated. You should give him space. I love her so much. She's my favorite character. What do you mean? He's wonderful and caring and compassionate, but only when he wants to be, and it's so rare that he does. Trust me, you'll be a whole lot better if you push him out of your mind and move on to another boy. That's coming from his mum. That's crazy. Thanks for the advice. Do you think that Brody could change? Someone could help him to be those things all the time. You can't change people, honey. Once again, she's my favorite character. <laughs> it's a fool's errand. All you can do is let them be themselves and understand that you can't be mad at them for being themselves. Okay, thanks, Mrs. Kaysen. It's Maria, and you're welcome. I love her. Brody's mum's house was a bust, but I bet he's got my journal in his dad's house. Why do you think it's at a house? He could be carrying it. <laughs> she better have no idea where it even is. I'm going to need help. Are you going to ask Tyler? Tyler would know he's on my side already. Great. Isaac might also help me out. Amy's mad at me, so that would be stupid. It's too bad Elise hates my guts, otherwise I bet she'd sneak me into Brody's in a heartbeat. Tyler or Isaac? This is the hardest decision I've ever had to make. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Um, should we do Isaac? I think we should do Isaac. Because, like, a little bit of me is, like, wanting it to still be him, so I think we're going to do Isaac. Okay, just need to hunt down Isaac without being seen. Okay, let's see where he is. Oh, for shit's sake. <laughs> we need to talk. Amy, hey, I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Of course, you're in the middle of something. You're always busy plotting to ruin this or that. Oh, my God! That's not true. When are you going to let this Brody stuff go? I would love to be able to let all this stuff go, but I can't. Not right now, anyway. Oh, hello. I need to go. Okay, well, this is going to be hard to choose. Trixie, you and Elise are on my birthday. I'm mad at both of you. Well, talk to her, not me right now, okay? Maybe I can make it up to you. 15 gems. You're right. I'm so sorry. I don't have time for this right now. Obviously, I'm not doing the gems because I have 11. <laughs> I think I'm going to do you're right. I'm so sorry, but I don't know. Do I want to be friends with her? I don't think I do. You're right. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm going to do it. Oh, God. Well, <laughs> 
You're absolutely right, Aim. I've been the worst lately. You have. Look, I don't mean to make this all about me, but come on, my birthday was terrible. Okay, that's cool. Can I leave now? What can I do to make it up to you? I don't know. Maybe telling me what's going on would help. Maybe I could help you. Being smart is kind of my thing. So what's happening? Well, Brody and I have been messing with each other. I kind of started playing his game, but you hooked up with Brody. Oh, no, not that. I just, I don't know. He took my old journal from me, and I'm trying to get it back. Why would Brody take your journal? Because I have his. <laughs> I don't know, but I want to get it back as soon as... Are you serious? Tell her... Mm. That's why I was bugging out about Tyler and Isaac. I need one of them to try and help me get it back. Well, I don't like what I'm hearing, but if you can put an end to this, you should go fix it. That's all I wanted to do. Then go do it. Thank you, Aim. And don't get caught. I won't, and I promise I'll make your birthday up to you. My battery's gonna die, so I really hope this is gonna end soon. <laughs> I love that girl, but she's kind of crazy. I mean, I've never really thought about joining cheerleading, but I think I'd like it more than football. You should join. We'd love to have someone on the squad with forearms like yours. That's not all I've got that's impressive. Excuse me, Isaac. I'm right here, darling. I can tell. Wow, cute, Isaac. Can I talk to you? <laughs> kind of in the middle of something. And you can get right back to it once we've done, okay? Winter doesn't mind. <laughs> My name is Summer. That's funny. You look more like a winter to me. Why am I literally saying the same thing Brody did like four episodes ago? Why would you say that? Say what? She's fine. I need your help. I told you. I wasn't going to get pulled into your stuff again. I know, but okay, can you keep a secret? What kind of secret? I can trust Isaac, can't I? I bloody hope so, because I love him. <laughs> okay, so let's just say there was a super bad boy guy, but he had like a secret diary where he kept all his secrets. Okay. <coughs> but, oh. <laughs> but then like someone found the diary and was using it to like kind of sort of blackmail him. I'd say they were stupid if this guy is as bad as they say he is. Well, let's also say that the bad guy got his hands on something important to the blackmailer. <laughs> And she, uh, he was trying to get it back before the bad boy did anything bad. I'd say he should get it back ASAP because the bad boy can't be trusted. Do you help me? With what? I have to sneak into Brody's dad's house to get the thing back. That's why Brody is acting the way he is. I knew something was weird. What did he steal? Let's just say when Brody brings you home drunk from a party, he's going to take something. What a dog. <laughs> okay, I'll help you, but we cannot get caught. Oh my god, Isaac, you're the best. You think I don't know that? Let's go now. I have a free period. Oh, and you're going to help me out with Summer, okay? Why? You ruined my flow, girl. <laughs> Okay, he could be a really good friend. We don't have to date him, but like I kind of want to date him, so it's fine. Jake Kaysen's mansion, the ep... Ep... ep yeah, that works. 16 bedrooms, two theatres, a bowling alley, an Olympic-sized swimming pool. I'm sorry? I knew that was going to happen. My camera battery just died. Love that for me. Anyways, continuing on. This place is too much. <laughs> Honestly, I hate coming here. I'd much rather be at his mum's house. His mum's a sweetheart. I feel like she's the mum that, like, brings out food to everyone, makes drinks, you know, makes dinner, all that type of thing. I, I love his mum already. Like, holy shit. Why? Just because it's so big and stuff? Because it doesn't feel like a home. Brody's dad is all about money and Brody's all about the ladies. Thanks. <laughs> You know that no one talks, no one has dinner together or laughs or watches TV together or wrestles or jokes or anything. Oh my god. What do they do? Just sit there? It's nice, but it's like, what's the point, you know? That's crazy. Yeah, my house is kind of small, but we're in it together. That just proves you don't need a big fancy house. If you have family or animals or whatever that keeps you sane, you're fine. Mine too. That's how I like it. Brody's bedroom is around here, so let's... Oh shit. Let's what? Oh shit. Shit, we're in trouble. That's his dad. <laughs> if Jake Kaysen tells you to sell high, you better sell high. Brody's dad, crap. <laughs> Get out of here, I'll talk to him. Tell him I'm getting Brody's bio book or something. We said that to his mum. That's why I told his mum this morning. Cute. Let's talk about it when we're not about to get in trouble. All oh, right. <laughs> I ran through Brody's house, twisting through the halls and making my way to what I thought was the exit. Turns out... What's happening? Hand me a towel or what? <laughs> Why is he here? Oh, no. <laughs> Stop. I'm done. This is so far gone. I don't know how to cope with any of this right now. Like, at all. I don't know how to feel about this episode. It was kind of better than the other ones. Like, it's a bit shitty with the whole girl situation. But, like, with Tyler and Isaac and Brody, like, I'm, I'm, I'm getting more into it because I'm understanding their characters. It just took us 13 episodes to figure out who they were. I want to know everything about Brody's family right now, honestly. I'm like a sticky beak and want to know everything. We'll find out soon enough. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. If you are liking this series, let me know. Also, let me know what you think is going to happen in the next episode. I should say episodes. <laughs> Again, if you haven't watched any of the others, I'll leave them all down below. All my social media links will be down there as well with all the other episodes I just mentioned before. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe already. I upload two videos a week for you guys every Monday and Thursday. And every Thursday is a new episode video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to spread love and stay positive, And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, everyone. Mwah.